But let's go to Niger now, where supporters of the country's coup leaders took to the streets of Niamey on Sunday. They are calling for foreign powers to engage in diplomacy with their military rulers. Now, the demonstrators also condemned the regional bloc, ECOWAS, for not supporting the coup leaders. This Sunday rally comes a day after the regional bloc sent a delegation to meet deposed President Mohamed Bazoum and the new military head, Abdurrahman Tiani. This also follows a meeting by ECOWAS defense chiefs in Ghana last week, where they maintained they will intervene militarily if the coup leaders do not restore constitutional order. Now, in a televised address on Saturday, Tiani said his government is pursuing its own agenda and will launch a national dialogue. The dialogue will seek to consult on a transition back to democracy, which should last no longer than three years. Dialogue is first thing we should have done. If, for example, ECOWAS were to have engaged in dialogue with the people of Niger, with the authorities, we could have sorted things out. But you can't impose things on us. You can't bring us to the point of asphyxiation and still ask for dialogue. ECOWAS needs to review its position first. We are an integral part of ECOWAS because we are one of the member countries of ECOWAS, the founders of ECOWAS with the present position we hold. So today, we can't just come to dialogue. An African country wants to attack an African country to kill Africans. It's deplorable. We didn't ask for this coup d'etat but it's done, we'll take responsibility for it. But instead of punishing us, ECOWAS needs to ask the right questions. What has led us to this situation? What led to these repeated coups, not just in Niger, but in West Africa in general? Instead of sitting down to negotiate, you put a gun on the table, you threaten us, and you think you'll get something out of it. As Nigerians, we want to tell them that the more they punish us, the more resilient we are. We are not going to back down. We are not going to fail. We are not going to give up either.